Hello ladies and gents, welcome. Today I'm going to turn this um, Elm Burr. It's really, it's really nice. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but I've cut the the uh, sides where it was on. It would have made it on uneven and not practically useful. So I might make a ball. It might be a jewelry box, lizard box, maybe with the. Um, natural edge around it but we'll see I'm gonna start turning it and see how it is first before I decide uh, what it's gonna going to be and I've drilled a 30 millimeter hole uh, uh, so that I can have my four prong there and turn the tenon this side and then we can flip it over I'm going to do 672 rpm that's where I'm borderline getting uh, uh, vibration it's off off balance so 622 it's okay to start off Okay, so I'm going to finish this one with Danish oil. As you can see, it's, it's very beautiful wood.
So I'm going to uh, do a couple of codes and then afterwards we'll I'll start on the inside of it, hollow the inside. Alright guys, I've drilled, I've drilled a hole in the middle. I'm going to make a almost like a, an, an edge so that when we make a lid it would stop it from going down you know it would uh, sit on that edge and it's going to be like a lower than these burrs so it covers the sides of the uh, uh, lid I think that would look nice so like almost like a mountain rugged mountain <laughs> kind of thing maybe I'm crazy I <laughs> imagine things but it it kind of is like that like a mountain anyway let's let's start here I'm going to use my 6mm carbide, it's nice and sturdy but you need to get the angle right with it to get a good cut. Just adjusting it, that's better. trick with this Simon Hope tool is to to find the to find a angle to have that bevel running yeah have that bevel running and keeping it the same way and uh, you need to have a steady steady pressure on on the end of the tool so to keep it uh, in one spot otherwise it tends to want to push it up so you just have to keep it steady it's basically the same with other carbides as well when you've got uh, one of these carbides that that's like curved in like a, there's an edge to it you're not really scraping you're cutting so if you're not scraping you need to use that bevel and uh, make a cut not like a scrape because if you do flat you're scraping then so yeah I'll I'll get this inside hollowed out more and then I'll be back we do the lid for it and then I'm going to use the buffing wheel and buff it up. Okay guys, the box itself is done. The, we need to get rid of the tenon down uh, on, the pot, uh, on the base. But I've got this uh, Banksy or not, which I'm going to try and use as a lid. But first of all, we could use this to get to get rid of the tenon. I'm going to have it on the chalk like that. Make a tenon this side of it to fit the inside of here, inside there, and then we'll have it against that. Push the tail stock, get rid of this, and then use the 
use that as a lid as well so we'll make make use of this sorry about the rain guys <laughs> I hope you don't hear much of it but let's start uh, turning the tendon okay that's that's perfect we can use that now to take take the tenon off So I'll sand that off and uh, chisel it away and it's done. Uh, guys there we go <laughs> this banks here turned out nice and keeps the edge well sorry about the rain it, it hasn't stopped yet <laughs> but yeah there we go I like the, the texture of it and here's the, the box Very nice burrs over here and I've put Danish oil on the on the burrs. If I if I uh, later decide to change the lid I can. Uh, it's no big deal and as you can see I wanted that curve to go that angle to go up. I hope you guys liked it um, I wanted to make a ball but here is uh, is too low so if I wanted anything uh, usable you know I would have have to make it to uh, take it that that small so it would have just wasted the wood I don't want you I don't want to keep you guys any longer this rain is <laughs> It is really bad. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It, it helps a lot and I'll talk to you all uh, on the next video. Bye.